Hey everyone, I'm Madison Conklin here with Fabulous TV, and with me I have Dr. Garth Fisher, Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. How are we doing today on this lovely Friday? I'm doing great. A beautiful woman in yellow always makes me happy. <laughs> Blue and yellow, good combination. So let's jump right to it. What made you, out of all medicines, choose plastic surgery? Oh, I had an appreciation for beauty. It was between that and cardiac surgery or trauma. And uh, gosh, I got along with women very well and men. I had a very creative, uh, you know, eye and a perfectionist. And I just love plastic surgery. It was, you know, really second nature for me. Absolutely. And so what has been, I guess, throughout your career, what, 20 plus years you've been doing this? Yes. What has been the most difficult thing or procedure you've encountered thus far? Um, gosh, I could give you a list of so many things that were very, very tragic and sad and things like that. I mean, the most amazing thing about my career is the people that I've met along the way and that step into my office and I, I first want to get their autograph, but then yeah. it's like, I've got to be their doctor. But, um, you know, being a plastic surgeon is a lot of stress associated with that because mm -hmm. you, you know, you have to do things perfectly and, and you want it to go perfectly. And, um, so, but, uh, over and over, I just love it. I mean, it's been great. Yeah. And I guess I, the most rewarding thing for you, the most rewarding thing by far is having somebody that you see, how they feel about themselves before and then when they come back they have gained so much confidence and they're so happy and that's what makes my life go around is making people happy i love it yeah absolutely yeah. and you know reality television is crazy right now you right. were kind of the forefront doctor of extreme makeover now do you think plastic surgery portrayed in the the most recent reality tv series or shows is it kind of making a mockery of plastic surgery or is it more informative kind of here's the message of plastic surgery what do you think well you know i would i would say that it's not my style what's going on today i don't want to you know say anything bad about it i know these people and but uh, you know i want mine to be very educational informative i was the first one out of the out of the you know the clubhouse with that show right. and what they say buffalo and middle are heard catch no arrow you know so <laughs> you know it kind of paved the way but i thought it was done very professionally it was great for our profession it raised the iq of people plastic surgery wise and it really opened the doors and took out the mystery for plastic surgery so i was very proud of developing that show with Howard Schultz um, but today you know it's a little different I, I, yeah. I'm not into the drama and you know that kind of thing but you know they're yeah. good they're good doctors yes absolutely and so you said the mystery kind of of, of plastic surgery what to you I guess, or have patients said, you know, the, what is the mystery of plastic surgery or misconceptions? Well, now it's different, but back then they didn't even know what their options were. And most men were not even considering plastic surgery, where now it's out of the closet and everybody's thinking about it. And my hope always was to raise the IQ and the intelligence and the education aspect of uh, plastic surgery so people would start, you know, not tolerating bad results. They want good results and they know what's bad and they know what doesn't look natural. And so, you know, it helps our profession when the patient is more educated and they find a better doctor. And so, yeah. Um, you know, and I, I you know, I, I, I just like the way our show is built, and I, I don't think there's been another one like that. Right, right, absolutely. And Everybody's s crying after the show and yeah. happy, and I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so um, you might know a little family out here called the Kardashians. Actually, I'm sure you've done work with them or worked with them. And body contouring is something they've done. So is body contouring just a fad? Is it going to hang around or has it been around and just no one's really known about it until the Kardashians? No, you know, any surgery is going to hang around as long as people want to look good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and body contouring is one of those things uh, that uh, our field is advancing. We're learning, the anatomy is not changing, but we're learning more about techniques and procedures mm -hmm. that are long lasting. And I always encourage people, don't jump, jump on the fad boat, something that's right. really trendy because what you really want something is tested by time. And sometimes a new marketing ankle new marketing angle is not necessarily a new technology angle so right. got to be careful for that but no this is a wonderful family I've known them since so many years and they're, right. I consider them very good friends yeah absolutely and um, going off kind of the fad thing I think early 90s the big butt song came out so everyone with big butts and then big boobs came in is there another big thing coming in plastic surgery that people are going to want like bigger uh, noses which sounds crazy or you know gosh bigger noses <laughs> we'll have to start rebuilding some no I don't know I think the big butt thing is here actually to stay but uh, people have to be very careful because there's some very dangerous procedures out there uh, that uh, patients that are uninformed are jumping into and some people are not doing very well at all I mean you can die from this and mm -hmm. so you have to be very careful with that and go to a very experienced surgeon don't get somebody you know out of the yellow pages not yellow pages but I don't know what right um, so 
no, I don't know what's coming up. You know, it's all just trying to refine all of our techniques. Yes, techniques. So. And anything technologically wise that you is, is kind of on your radar that you're hoping to bring into your office and, and deliver to your patients? I am working on a technology and I can't mention it right now, but yes, I'm very oh, excited about it. it. Not even a snippet. <laughs> well, no, but it's going to it's going to improve our field, I think. Okay, absolutely. So. Um I guess oh, and I guess for preventative measures and me being a woman and and you have two young girls, what are some things and this is for women. What can we do to, I guess, keep, you know, our bodies healthy and, you know, bra sizes kind of are crazy right. and things sag and whatnot. What can we do preventative measures? I would say three things, diet, exercise, and sunscreen. And, you know, these are simple things. I mean, don't abuse anything. Uh, be happy. The problem is the more you smile, the more wrinkles you get. So maybe hang around boring stop. people, I find know, boring right? friends, uh, <laughs> but just, you know, be happy and, and, take care of yourself and, and live a healthy life. And, um, that's it. You know? And, um, if anyone's looking to get procedures done, where can, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me in Beverly Hills. Uh, garthfisher.com is my website and you can look there first. You can call here and we'd happy, we're happy to see anybody. Anything know? on social media? Uh, you know what? I've been so slow. I'm just starting that now. I've, okay. I've been kind of behind the scenes, but you know, I'll be there soon. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're you welcome. did awesome. Thank you very, very thank much. Thank you. Thank you.